Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Toolkit. In today's tutorial, we will learn about the schema and the DDL. So in the last tutorial, you can see we have discussed about how to read the data in the PySpar. So let me print schema. So there is one scenario. So you can see this is our schema, right? item identifier item weight so this is string this is double oh sorry so this is string this is double and this is the data type right but what if i want to change my data type suppose uh, item fat content is in string and if i want it into the double <clears throat> so how you can convert this so what we can do in this scenario we will recreate our ddl so let me show you my ddl dot so let me type this first so you can see here what i did this column name item fat content having this string right data type so i change here i change the data type as a double in my schema now let me execute now let me show you this schema and let me run this Okay. Yeah. Yes. Here you can see item fat content the data type is change this is double here you can see it is in string data type so in this way you can recreate your ddl and then you can uh, while you are reading the ddl then you can mention your ddl name schema name so in this way you can change in instead of in in fair schema name you can type this your schema name your own schema name so in this way you can change your data type as well the second transformation is select for example i have this table and i don't want to select all the columns i want to select the particular column only like two three columns then how you can uh, achieve this so let me show you So you can select the column like you, are, you can use the function df select and you can select your column name. So let me select it from here. Same as SQL. If you know SQL, you can relate it. Suppose I want only these two records. Let me run this. Okay, what happened? I I think my string is double. Okay, let me create the data frame. So it is executed right now we'll display it or you can simply type here also display and then execute this command so you can see only the two columns are printed here so by using column also you can achieve this let me show you for example this is column column name okay in this way also you can actually let me run this okay you can see name column is not defined why we are getting this error because sql function is not imported here right so if you want to uh, in, you know, import the sql function then just type from sql function is not imported so i simply did this from pyspark.sql.function and import i have imported all the sql functions and now I am able to run this. Quick. Uh, now let's talk about the alias. So if you want to change the column name, 
then simply you can give the alias it is same like the sql code we are changing the name for the um, table name right so what we have to do here just df select dot select select column which column name we have to change we'll take any column name from here suppose item fat content dot alias and what name you have to provide to that particular column suppose i want to give the only item fat dot display you can see it is provided the it changed my column name item fat so in this way you can use the alias so guys we'll see more uh, transformation into the next video so if you feel this video is informative please like comment and share my video thank you thank you for watching keep growing and learning